Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to implement a really cool animated SVG line drawing effect on your site using Oxygen and just a little bit of custom code. Now you can see here that this line drawing effect is really smooth and it follows the path of an SVG stroke, which seems like it would be really, really difficult to do, but luckily some people have figured out how to implement this pretty easily. And most of what I'm gonna be doing is gonna be based on this article here by Jake Archibald. So I'm gonna pull that up and just show you real quick. We'll include the link in the description of the video as well, but this guy is an absolute genius and apparently he pioneered this effect that allows you to animate in the stroke of an SVG. So we'll be following his instructions here, and I'd encourage you to check out his article for a deeper explanation of how these techniques work. We're also gonna be using a jQuery library called jQuery Visible, which is available on GitHub here, and I'll also include a link to this. Uh, we'll be including it with a CDN just because it's way easier to do, but this allows us to check if an element's visible before we trigger our little animation. This is especially useful if you're gonna have multiple animated SVGs uh, as you scroll down a page and you don't want them all animating in as soon as the page is loaded. So with no further ado, let's jump into Oxygen and get started on setting this up. So here I have just a placeholder design with a couple of boxes to add some space. Nothing too fancy, but what I wanna do is I wanna add some visual interest to this heading area where it says animated lines. I want animated lines, okay? so. To do this technique, you are gonna need an SVG creation program like Inkscape or Boxy SVG, which is the one I'm using. I suppose you could also use Adobe Illustrator, though I have heard it's more difficult to export the HTML of the SVG from that, but I haven't tried it, so I can't say for sure it might work just fine. So the reason we're starting here in Oxygen is because I wanna figure out what kind of design I want. Now, what I think I would like is for the animated lines to come out of the teal section above the text and maybe do some loops or funny things and then kind of finish out back up into the teal so that it looks like the color is growing out of that um, angled section there. So with that in mind, let's load up Boxy. And this is gonna let us create our SVG path, but the first thing we need to know is how wide is our total path gonna need to be. So let's jump back over to Oxygen here and we will just check the width of our page, which is, should be Manage Settings, Global Styles, Width and Breakpoints. If we go somewhere between, say, 1120 and 1280 pixels, we should be safe. So let's just do 1280. That'll give us a little bit of room to the left and right to play. So let's close this out. And then one more thing we're gonna need is this color. So manage settings, uh, global styles, colors, global colors, and then this teal color that I've set up here. So we're gonna use the same color for the stroke. So let's jump back over to Boxy and let's just set up this uh, canvas here to be 1280 pixels wide, one, two, eight, zero. And then height, maybe, I don't know, 500 might be a bit big, but hmm, let's see here. Let's do, yeah, let's do 500, why not? That'll give us plenty of room to, to experiment and have some space to move around. So the next thing we're gonna need to do is draw our path. So we can do a freehand here with Boxy, and this is gonna let us just draw something. Now, my only problem with this is that it's gonna look like it was drawn with a mouse, which isn't great. So I prefer to use something like, uh, a Bezier or an Arc tool. The Arc tool is really cool. Uh, let's try the Bezier real quick because then we can get some really smooth lines kind of waving back and forth and up and down. And we're gonna remove the fill here so that won't look so silly by the time we're done. So there's something, I suppose. Uh, I don't know if I like that. We'll probably redo it, but that Bezier tool will work just perfectly. Let's try uh, the cubic bezier and see if that gives us a better result. A little bit more uh, flex, it looks like. But 
what we want to do, like we discussed, is we want to go, we want to come down from the top, right? So our teal section is up here, and we want these lines to kind of come down and maybe go around our text. Ideally, we'll see if we can get it to fit that. Um, so let's just start here and do kind of a wave there, then a wave there. And just keep it nice and flowy and smooth. And then go up like that, and then back over to here. Okay, um, that should be okay. So let's go up here and let's make sure our fill is set to none. Now, again, I'm using Boxy SVG, but you can do all this stuff with pretty much any SVG program. So we have our shape, and I wanna make it quite a bit thicker. So let's go down to width and let's make it like I don't know, nine, let's do 10 pixels. And then for the color, we wanna paste in that teal color that we grabbed from oxygen. Okay, now we have our line. Uh, this should be pretty much all we need because we're just gonna animate in this stroke. So let's go to export and we're going to choose HTML. If your vector graphics program doesn't have an HTML option, then you should be able to export it as an SVG and then just open that SVG in an HTML editor or code editor and then copy and paste the code that way. But since Boxy has an HTML export option, I'm gonna use that. We're gonna export it. And we're gonna call it animated SVG line. And let's save that. And then we need to open that up. So we'll go in here and documents, and we're gonna right click this and open it with a code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code, but you can use whatever you like. Okay, so this is our SVG code. We do not need the doc type tag at the top. We just need the SVG and the path. So we're gonna copy that, and then we're jumping back over to Oxygen, and we're gonna do a couple of things here. First, we're gonna add in a code block, so we'll add code block. We're going to drop it in this top section here. And then in the PHP and HTML editor, let's go ahead and paste in our SVG code that we just made. Perfect. Looks exactly like it did in Boxy, which is what we want. Now, we want this to kind of go around this text. So I think the best route to do that would be to select the section, go to advanced layout, set it to position relative, and then we'll use absolute positioning on this uh, code block element. So we'll go to advanced layout, position, absolute, and then we can go and set it to a top of zero so that it comes down from that uh, section there with the teal, and then we'll just go ahead and set left and right to zero so that it stretches. But see, our SVG is a little bit too wide for this viewport, uh, but it'll look fine on a full size browser. So here's the question. Do we want it to flow down into the bottom section and then come back up the right side? That might look kind of cool. Or do we want the whole thing to be visible? If we go back over here, we should be able to adjust the height of this SVG a little bit. Let's go to the PHP and HTML editor. And here you can see the height is 500. Let's just try adjusting this down. Yeah, so that's gonna change it, but it also changes the width. So we'll have to be careful there. Let's just adjust it um, a little bit at a time until we get the size we kind of want. 350, let's try 400. Okay, let's do 400 and then let's add some bottom padding to this top section to keep the uh, element in view. So we're gonna go to structure and select the section and then make sure that that's in view. Now, let's make sure at full viewport width, it looks okay. Perfect. Okay, so that's pretty much where we want this element to be at and it's all laid out. So now onto the magic, which is animating everything. So let's go and grab our jQuery visible library first. That's gonna be the first thing we'll wanna make sure we include. So I have the link to CDNJS here so that I can include it very easily. So we'll jump over to a new tab, drop that in. We're gonna click copy script tag, close that out and then go over to our code block, which because it's absolutely positioned, it's easiest to just select it uh, here in the structure pane. So we'll go there, 
PHP and HTML, and above our SVG, we just want to include this script. Now, if you were going to have multiple instances of SVGs on this page or on your site, you would want to include this script probably in the head of your site, which you can do with something like insert headers and footers, which is a plugin for WordPress. But for something like this, that we just have one instance of it, this will work just fine. Uh, so let's jump back over. And now we're going to need to add a couple attributes to the SVG element. So you can see here the path has a bunch of attributes. It has style. And I'm just going to put these on a new line to make it more readable. Has all the, the uh, numbers that <laughs> make up the shape, essentially. Okay, go down. And then we're going to have to have a couple more attributes. We need one called stroke dash dash array. And then one called stroke dash dash offset. These are kind of the, the secret pieces that allow us to animate the SVG stroke because basically what we're doing is similar to in CSS where you can set an element to have a dashed border. We're basically saying this thing is a stroke, which is essentially the same thing as a border and it's gonna be dashed except for the dash is so big there's only one and then we're gonna adjust the offset of that to simulate animation, which is just a super genius approach uh, that produces a really, really cool effect. So we have our attributes here on our path. The other thing we're gonna to have to do is add a class so that we can target this. Uh, so we're gonna add class equals um, animated line. Just keep it simple so we'll remember it. Okay, so we have all this set up. Now we're gonna get into our JavaScript. So let's jump over to that article here and he has pretty much everything we need here. So let's open that up. And if we go down, 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 here's the piece of code we need. So let's copy that. Go over here and go to the JavaScript tab and we're gonna paste that in. Now we're gonna to need to change this squiggle animated path here to be uh, animated line, which is the class we just set up. And then let's just go ahead and apply that. And as you can see, look, we already have our animated effect. So let's save it and check it out on the front end. Jump over here. And as you can see, just as soon as we load into the page, we have this cool animated effect, which wasn't that just crazy easy. You know, when I see these types of things, before I knew how it was done, I assumed it would be incredibly complicated to set it up, but as with most things that are awesome, they are often surprisingly simple. So let's jump back over here, and the one last piece of the puzzle we wanna do is, just in case we had this located somewhere that wasn't visible as soon as you load the page, we wanna wait and make sure that it's visible before we animate it. So this right here, see the comment that says go, so that's the piece of code that makes the animation run. So we added that jQuery visible library. So now we have a cool jQuery function called visible that returns true if the element's visible and otherwise is false. So now we can add a jQuery window scroll and run a function when we scroll. And then we're gonna add an if in here, if jQuery, and then use our selector here, animated line visible so that's going to return true if it's on the screen and then we just need to paste this go code in here uh, so that it only runs if the elements visible so let's save that and jump back to the front end and as you can see when we scroll down and then back up it starts to animate in. Now, obviously you probably wouldn't use that extra little visible condition if it's right at the top of the page when the page loads. But for elements that might be down here somewhere that you want to have animated in and you want them to be visible before they animate, that is the exact uh, little piece of code and the condition that you'll need. So let's refresh again and take a look at that. As soon as we start scrolling, it becomes visible and then animates in. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to set up a really cool animated SVG line drawing 
element in Oxygen with just a couple simple lines of code and a vector graphics program. Thank you very much for watching.